Hey everyone! Today I'm diving into a fascinating journey through the female reproductive system, as illustrated by NSERT's biology curriculum. Let's unlock some of the secrets of female biology together. First up, let's talk about the ovaries. Think of them as the headquarters of female reproductive biology. They're not just egg storage, they're also where hormones like estrogen and progesterone are produced. These hormones play crucial roles throughout a woman's life, from puberty to menopause. Moving along, we find the fallopian tubes. These are the pathways that the eggs travel through after leaving the ovaries. It's like a critical meeting point where the possibility of fertilization occurs. This is where the sperm and egg might meet and where life can begin. Next, let's explore the uterus or the womb. It's incredibly strong and muscular. Its main job? To provide a nurturing environment for a fertilized egg to develop into a fetus. The lining of the uterus, known as the endometrium, builds up each month in preparation for a possible pregnancy. We can't forget the cervix, the lower part of the uterus. It acts like a gatekeeper which opens during childbirth. It also allows the passage of menstrual blood from the uterus into the vagina, which leads us to the final part of the system. The vagina is not just part of the birth canal, it's also an integral part of the female sexual anatomy, playing a key role in intercourse. Understanding this system isn't just about biology, it's about understanding a significant part of human life and health. I hope this quick tour helps you appreciate the complexities and wonders of the female reproductive system. Remember, every part we discussed plays a crucial and active role in the miracle of life. Keep exploring and stay curious. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to check out more educational content right here. Stay inspired and keep learning.